The Farmland Protection Policy Act requires that federal agencies identify and consider adverse effects to farmland that have resulted from projects that involve federal participation. For most projects, the federal participation is federal funding. When a MODOP project has new right-of-way and or permanent easements that result in converting farmland to another land use, coordination with a local National Resources Conservation Service, or NRCS office, is required. MODOT environmental specialists are responsible for assessing farmland impacts and coordinating with the NRCS. The Request for Environmental Services provides the Design Division staff the necessary information to obtain approvals and clearances from the Federal Highway Administration and the resource agencies. This ensures project compliance with state and federal regulations, thus preventing project delays or stoppages. The district will submit an RES at each project development milestone. These project milestones include the location conceptual stage, preliminary plans stage, right-of-way plans stage, and the final design plans stage. The district initiates this process by submitting an RES to the design division. Every project requires the submittal of an RES, regardless of the NEPA classification. For projects requiring an Environmental Assessment, or EA, or an Environmental Impact Statement, EIS, the Design Division and the District will determine when to begin this process because an RES is generally not submitted for these NEPA classifications until later in the NEPA process. When an RES is submitted by the District at the Location Conceptual Plan stage, the environmental specialist will determine if there will be impacts to or conversion of farmland. If new right-of-way and or permanent easement acreages are available, the environmental specialist prepares the appropriate farmland impact rating form for the project. If impacts to or conversion of farmland have not yet been evaluated at the time the district submits the RES for preliminary plan stage and or for right-of-way plan stage, the environmental specialist will determine if the project will convert farmland. If so, the appropriate farmland impact rating form will be prepared for the project and submitted to NRCS. The environmental specialist will provide the district with any new project-related findings via the RES response and will discuss appropriate actions with the project manager, if necessary. If new right-of-way and or permanent easement acreages are still not fully known, the environmental specialist will reassess impacts to farmland at the next RES stage. If impacts to or conversion of farmland have not yet been evaluated at the time the district submits the RES for the final design plan stage and new right-of-way and or permanent easements acreages are available, the environmental specialist will determine if the project will convert farmland. If so, the appropriate farmland impact rating form will be prepared for the project and submitted to NRCS. The environmental specialist will provide the district with any new project-related findings via the RES response and will discuss appropriate actions with the project manager, if necessary. If new right-of-way and or permanent easement acreages are still not fully known, the environmental specialist will reassess impacts to farmland at the next RES stage. Project letting must not occur until the farmland impact evaluation is completed. If conversion of or impacts to farmland has not yet been evaluated, the environmental specialist will determine if the project will convert farmland. If so, the appropriate farmland impact rating form will be prepared for the project and submitted to NRCS. Once the results of the farmland impact ratings are known, the environmental specialist will communicate them to the district. Projects located inside designated urban areas, according to the U.S. Census Bureau maps, are not required to consider farmland impacts. Projects outside designated urban areas that also require new right-of-way or permanent easements must consider farmland impacts even if the area affected is not currently farmed. 
Farmland impacts are based on soil types and not current land use. Coordination with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, NRCS Area Resource Soil Scientist is required when right-of-way or permanent easements are acquired outside designated urban areas. The U.S. Census Bureau Urbanized Area Reference Map shows the urbanized areas outlined in green that are excluded from the Farmland Protection Policy Act. A link to the U.S. Census Urbanized Area Reference Map is provided at the bottom of the slide. When a project requires new right-of-way and or easements outside a designated urban area, the MoDOT Environmental Specialist must submit the form AD-1006 Farmland Conversion Impact Rating to the local NRCS office. A project description, project location map, and preliminary plans that show the area of conversion must be provided to NRCS. The AD-1006 form can be found at the link on this slide. Detailed instructions regarding how to complete each section are provided on page 2 of the AD-1006 form, which can be accessed using the link provided at the bottom of this slide. On the Farmland Conversion Impact Rating form, the MoDOT Environmental Specialist will fill out Parts 1 and 3 and requests that NRCS fill out Parts 2, 4, and 5. If total points equal or exceed the 160-point threshold, additional sites and or design modifications must be considered to determine if any exists that would convert less farmland, while remaining economically feasible and logistically reasonable. If this value equals or exceeds 160, then alternative design considerations should be made to avoid or minimize impacts to farmland resources. A change in design may not be necessary, but should be considered. If the point value equals or exceeds 160, the MoDOT Environmental Specialist will also complete Part 7 and submit the form back to NRCS for its records. The Environmental Specialist will upload the NRCS response to the RES. All documentation related to the evaluation must be available on the RES. For projects involving a corridor, which includes most roadway projects, Form NRCS-CPA-106 should be used in place of the AD-1006. NRCS-CPA-106 is completed in the same manner as AD-1006, but includes different point values for Part 4 to better assess potential impacts to farmland resulting from quarter-style projects. Please refer to the previous slide for guidance on completing this form. Detailed instructions are provided on page 2 of the form, which can be accessed using the link provided on this slide.